leaked news ask away <laughs> so what is up guys hopefully this works it's gonna be a little choppy if you're here watching live on twitch oh wait let me get rid of that if you're watching here live on twitch or on beam we are now going to watch the presentation it looks like they've got uh looks like they've got it going pretty much this maybe this is actually going to be an event it's going to be a not just a direct but an actual like event it looks like i mean they've got a dj there we'll cut we'll cut in the sound here in a little bit but um i mean wow nintendo's doing something for once all right i can deal with that i don't know about you guys but i can deal with them actually doing an event here i'm moving myself around here a little bit hold on just getting myself out of the way a little bit tried to get it cropped in as best as i could i'm not gonna fuss with it we'll just leave it just leave it as it is it is gonna be a little bit choppy so please forgive me because I'm both streaming and watching this. So uh, I've got this set. I think I've got this set at a low quality there. I'll turn annotations off. So Koopa Master's back. What is up? So yeah, hopefully this works. So far, looking pretty promising just from the fact that they are doing some laser lights and they've got some, uh, some DJ stuff. Like I said, we'll get the music cut in here in a minute i've got to move my mic because i'm in my face here so so we'll see i'm just gonna sit back and relax here maybe i should have my earbuds because i don't want to have this up but i want to be able to hear clearly what's going on so let me see if i can get my earbuds working on this so so we're a few minutes away this will be my first real attempt at doing a uh a stream of a presentation we tried to do the e3 one for sony um, back in, you know, back at E3, but it did not work very well. We got in late in the game, so that didn't really work. So, is this going to be long enough? We shall see. <clears throat> I want to be able to really hear what they say, but I don't want to turn it up too loud so the little one uh, wakes up. That's the one thing with, uh, with playing games at night like this, is she, uh, I don't have... Uh, the sound on the game up very high um, because I'm literally in the next oh yeah this works real well I'm literally in the next room um, so let's cut in their music see what they're uh, see what they're doing let me take any music on out here we'll take them out and then we'll uh, Nintendo is code name for switch over the new console because we're done all right let's see what music they got let me know if you guys can hear that all right Got that all the way up. We're not live. Actually, you know what? I would rather not be live. I'd rather be a couple seconds behind. Because if I don't want it to have to buffer for what, a couple seconds? We'll be about nine seconds behind here. So, yeah, let me know if you guys can hear that all right. It's not too loud, it looks like. Four minutes. Countdown is is real. Oh, and of course she starts crying. Yes, yeah, so let me know uh, once things kick in here with the music and stuff. Like I can hear the music all right, but I, it looks like it's okay on the stream. Maybe I can bump it up just a little bit here. Bump it up just a little bit for you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There, how's that? Switch over the Xbox or PS4. Well, I'd say switch over the Xbox, meaning original Xbox. <laughs> Actually, you know what I can do? I can just test out my own stream. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm going to check this out. I guess you can hear the the music all right. Let me know if I need to turn if I need to turn it up at all. So, pretty sure this is the death of Nintendo. No, I think this is a good step forward for them. Positive step forward. They just really need to uh, fix their issues with YouTubers. Then now, 
really is uh, the next thing, which a lot of people were hoping that they would make some sort of announcement that they're going to cut back on their whole copyright stuff that they do on YouTube. But I think they're not going to do that. This is just the Twitch event. But this is an event. Look at that. There are people in the audience. I'm, I'm already liking this. I give a little clap to Nintendo for this rather than just doing a direct where they show an hour-long video. Well, sweet. I'm going to sit back here. <sighs> sit back, relax in my new desk chair. Thank you to Santa. I think they're trying to hypnotize us into liking it with all the lights. Yeah, they are hypnotizing us. Oh, I just realized I switched my camera around. I should have gone off this way. I don't like drinking on camera. Clap and a half. Those are all the aliens on stage, it looks like, back there. Golf clap. All right, and I just realized that there is some white on the edge here. On the edge of the screen. It looks like there's some white because I didn't cut it in exactly, but... Oh, well, deal with it. We're starting here, it looks like. The future is here. This is Nintendo. I'm going to turn up the uh, overall volume for you guys. Oh, gosh. Freaking countdown and everything. This is where it's at. Holy cow. Yeah, seeing as it's an actual event, they're already delivering. They already get kudos in my book here, rather than just showing us a video for an hour. Twenty-one, and you guys are even further behind than I am. You guys are like another ten seconds behind. Oh goodness! Oh, maybe I should turn it down a little bit. Sorry, guys. Four, three, two, one. Oh, jeez, that is loud. I'm sorry about that. All of a sudden, it was just loud music. Holy crap. I guess that's like their official sound effect for their system, that, that snap noise, the switch noise. That'll probably be the noise it makes when it turns on. Hello, everyone. I'm Tatsumi Kimishima from Nintendo. President of Nintendo. Thank you very much to all of you who have joined us here today. Thank you. And thank you to everyone viewing the presentation live online. Many people around the world watched the Nintendo Switch video we released in October of last year and reacted quite positively to it. It's just weird that we're now knowing more about the system this video two months before it comes the out. Nintendo Switch console, Nintendo Switch dock, Joy-Con grip, and two Joy-Con controllers, as well as the Pro Controller. They're going to show us more than just Nintendo that. Nintendo Switch is a console that can be played while connected to your television, but it is also a system you can bring with you to share the fun wherever you go. Which is awesome. Nintendo Switch Buttons is a brand a new small. kind of home gaming system like that a offers box. a wide diversity of play styles. In today's presentation, we intend to provide a detailed introduction to the Nintendo Switch hardware and software. Nice, okay. I'd like to begin by introducing the Nintendo Switch, Switch hype. Launch date, what is up, Hero? Suggested retail price. There we go. We're and start online services. Start right at online services. Nintendo Switch will release simultaneously on March 3rd. 2017 March 3rd. In Japan, the US, Canada, 
major European countries, Hong Kong, and Everywhere. other territories. Wow, price? They're starting right off with it too. This is the suggested retail price for Nintendo Switch. In Japan, it will be 29,980 yen. Oh my gosh, 29,000 dollars? No, yen. In North America, it will be $299.99. There it is. And 99 cents. But how many different versions are there going to be, though? Yeah, they're going to have... For the price in Europe? Like a please deluxe? Please your local retailer. Oh, wow. They don't have a price in Europe set? Are they going to announce some sort of deluxe Next, edition? I have information about Nintendo Switch online services. Oh, okay, good. Is there going to be friend codes and all that crap? With Nintendo Switch, you will, of course, be able to enjoy online multiplayer games. 300 is not bad. What are you talking about? And when you use a smart device application that will connect to Nintendo Switch, you will be able to invite friends to play online, set play appointments, and chat with friends while enjoying online matches and compatible games, all from your smart device. So while you're playing online, you can use a smartphone Users will something. be able to try out Nintendo Switch online services for free during a trial period after free. launch. Then it will become a paid service beginning in the fall of 2017. Ah, so they're going the route of... We will provide additional details on this paid service and its features on our homepage at a later date. Okay, well, it's and a trial service for free, but... I have an additional piece of information. Uh -huh. With our past systems, like Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, we designed them using region locking, which limited play to software sold in the same region that the hardware was purchased. But? But, with Nintendo Switch... We have revised our approach and decided that in no general we will not region apply region locking to locking. Nintendo Switch software. Wow. Here, I would like to switch over to the man responsible for all software development for Nintendo Switch and mobile applications, Mr. Shinya Takahashi. Nice. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Shinya Takahashi, and I lead all Nintendo software development. Tell some good. Nintendo Switch has inherited DNA from each of the many hardware systems Nintendo has released to date. The Nintendo Entertainment System the included the two controllers in the base system. The Famicom. Game Boy made it possible to bring video games out of the home. <clears throat> Super NES added the X and Y buttons, and the L and R buttons to enhance the fun. Enhance the fun. Nintendo 64 offered the world's first analog control stick. And That's true. It introduced a rumbling controller with the development of the rumble pack. It had the first analog. We put a handle on Nintendo GameCube. So and then PlayStation came out with theirs after the fact with the DualShock. Even at that time, we were considering a home game system that you could take with you, but it seems we were a little too soon. Nintendo DS added a touchscreen. With the Wii Remote, motion control became possible. Wii was a lot of fun. I loved my Wii. And the I still Wii do. Gamepad There's still a lot of good games to play, like to play games off the TV. And now... Nintendo Switch has inherited all of Nintendo's entertainment DNA, and we have packed each and every one of these features into the system. Nintendo is constantly pursuing new forms of entertainment to bring more fun and more smiles to the world. And the new entertainment we will present in 2017 is Nintendo Switch. Hooray! Let me get a video. Same one as the new one. Ooh, nice. The dock, the console itself. HDMI out, okay. Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch is a video game system for the home. Looks like they're removing it like it has a motion. You connect it to the TV to play games. When you want to play away from the TV, you just remove Nintendo Switch from the dock. When you attach the left and right Joy-Con controllers, you can continue playing anywhere. Which is awesome. Nintendo Switch has been designed to be a home console gaming system that gives you the freedom to change your playstyle. 
Switch and play. Well, he'll probably say that. Oh no. Mo? That's just the title of the. Oh. Next, allow me to introduce the play styles Nintendo Switch will offer. Sweet, so it's going to be like TV the controllers TV detached mode. and all that. Play games on the TV in typical video game style. Wow, that's revolutionary. Tabletop mode. Stand the Nintendo Switch console up with its kickstand and play using the Joy-Con. Yep. You can now play video games in front of a screen with others wherever you like. Turn them sideways and each person gets their own. Oh, be quiet, Steel. It's a new console from Nintendo. Come on. You can take it with you and play indoors, outdoors, or anywhere you like. Outdoors? And what do you think of handing a Joy-Con to a friend or family member and sharing the joy? Even though that person is kind of screwed over because the thumbstick on that one's kind of more close to the buttons, but oh well. Battery life will vary by game, Switch. but it will range from two and a half hours to six and a half hours. Two and a half hours to six and a half hours? That's not... Bad. And you will be able to play while charging the system using the sure. included AC adapter and the USB certified portable batteries. Ooh, got a little the screen uses a capacitive touch panel. Does have touch. You can connect over Wi-Fi for multiplayer battles. It does have a touch touch area. I wonder if it's a whole screen or just a part of it. Eight Nintendo Switch systems can be connected for local wireless multiplayer gaming. They said up to eight? I didn't hear that. I think he said up to eight. What do you think? With its three play got styles, a little view of the, uh, the UI gameplay, there. Making it more active and offering greater freedom of play. And what makes this possible are the Joy-Con controllers. To tell you more about the new types of play that Joy-Con will enable, and to tell you about Nintendo Switch software, I'd like to switch things over to uh, General Development Producer, Yoshiaki Koizumi. Switch Thank things over. That's funny how they do that switch and it just, Hello, they just appear. That's cool. I am Nintendo Switch General Development Producer, Yoshiaki <coughs> Koizumi. It's great to be here. Controllers are very important when it comes to video games, right? Sure. And I suspect all of you are wondering what the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con are like. Allow me to introduce them to you in detail. Well, I mean, that's you have that with Xbox Live. You have that with PlayStation for certain features. So, I mean, that's just the way the world These is going. The so, I can understand. Joy -Con grip. This is the basic style when playing on the TV. Now, let me remove the Joy-Con. These are the Joy-Con. Oh, those. There is a left and a right Joy-Con. Makes sense. Each Joy-Con has an analog stick. And each stick can also be pressed like a button. Oh, so it does have an R3, L3 kind of thing. This Joy-Con has the familiar A, B, X, Y buttons. And beneath them is the home button. What's on the bottom? It's house shaped mark. I wonder what the bottom thing is. I wonder if that there flips is an open. NFC reader writer. Oh, it does have. Wow, that's. That can read and write amiibo data as well. Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff packed into those then. And please look at the square button on this Joy Con. This is the capture button for capturing screenshots of your gameplay. That's in the future. Sometimes they will be know. able to capture video as well. Oh, so they're doing the whole DVR thing You'll as well. Be able to share awesome. the screens you capture with friends over social media. So they're gonna go the route of and recording each Joy-Con includes probably not very much, but... and gyro sensors, making independent left and right motion control. So it's a motion. Like wow, this, those are small to have all that stuff built in. That is crazy. And take a look right here. There are two buttons in the rail that connects the Joy-Con to the Nintendo Switch console. These are L and R buttons. Holy cow! I know they're small, so because it's going to be kind of hard to play, but... Each Joy-Con can be used as a fully functioning individual controller. So it's like 
the Game Boy Advance in a sense, would be really the small. Person next to you in many two-player games. That's gonna be we cool. I didn't realize that. Sharing the joy. Sharing the joy. So, Nintendo Switch comes with two controllers. I have with three right Nintendo games I hardly play. Yeah. And when you play with these Joy-Con, they so fit in the palm of your hand. Joy-Cons are gonna right, be pretty pricey like if you this, buy other ones. And they feel very natural. Stop being such a downer, Steel. Come on. For example, pardon me. You can release the tension from your shoulders and relax while you play. You can do that with any game, but that's okay. That's all for my Joy-Con introduction. They just needed a... But we still have many things to share about the Joy-Con. Sure. Addition. Are you going to do a magic trick? We have prepared Joy-Con color variations. Oh, neon blue what? And neon red. Neon blue and red. And they've got straps on them, of course, for and safety this reasons. This is a Joy-Con strap. It is a wrist strap you can slide onto the rail like this. So much money it is the normal way it is for new console for 300 bucks it's great for games that have you swinging your hands attaching to your wrist so you won't <clears> so it is going to still use motion easier to grip so it is going to use the whole Wii kind of stuff to it that's cool and they do the ping pong stuff with all of them this is the type that will come with your nintendo switch system but there will also be other colors sold separately Batteries not included. The right Joy-Con also has a motion IR camera that can sense the shape, motion, and distance of objects in front of it. It's right here. Oh, okay. For example, it can tell the difference between rock, paper, and scissors. And it can tell how far away the hand that threw it is. This will make unique... Yeah, which is usually what it is for Nintendo, so that's perfectly fine. What's this? It feels like something shaking in a glass. It's got rumble? That built in too. Joy-Con can convey to you the feeling of ice cubes colliding in a cup. What do you mean colliding in a cup? So rumble feature? You can even tell. One, two, three. The number of ice cubes in the glass. And you can feel water filling the glass. What the heck are they talking about? This new sense of realism is produced by the precision of the new HD rumble. HD rumble? It adds weight to it then too if you can feel the water? I don't get it. That's crazy. I know that's not the, what they mean with the whole weight of it, but still. With these new sensing and vibration give it... technologies, the Joy-Con itself boasts an expressiveness that invites the player to pick up the controller. I mean, they got to give it some sort of, you know... Uh, the Joy-Con offers wow factor. more than just traditional video game controls. It invites everyone to a new world of entertainment. <laughs> Free water. Allow me to introduce you to two new games made possible by the Joy-Con. One that everyone can play together, and one with depth, challenge, and replayability. First, let's switch to the game everyone can play together. It's a western. Is it a target shooting game? It is a Western. Oh, quick draw stuff, right? Probably some sort of quick draw. That's, of course, realistic. That's not. Or this is a live trailer. It's not an actual gameplay. I was gonna say, if those are the graphics on the system, that's crazy. And I don't even have this at. At full HD presentation, I'm looking at it downgraded. He's supposed to. He's meant to look like Clint Eastwood. It looks like, very much like him. Draw. Who won? The right or left? I'm gonna guess the guy on the left won. Yep. 
What was that? No, the guy on the right one? Oh, just reaction time. One, two, switch. So just a reactionary game. Hello, everyone. You gotta figure they have those kind of games with it. The producer of One Two Switch. I am also the general hardware director for Nintendo Switch itself. You talk about hardware. Switch lets you. Enjoy the expressiveness of the Joy-Con HD Rumbo that was just introduced. So is Rumbo only in one of them time, or both? I didn't get that. It's a brand new kind of game. One that mixes up new kinds of play that haven't been seen before. You were just talking about the one side that had the Rumble and the HD and all that. You playing while looking at some kind of screen, right? We don't know. We don't know if it's VR compatible. We shall know right. more about it, I guess. Switch, I don't think it's going to be. looking at any screen. So then, where exactly do you look? Yeah, the what? Eyes of your opponents. You look directly into the eyes of your opponent to play the game. Okay. When will your opponent move? How will they move? Are they just faking? You look into their eyes to read their next move, and then you get to see them do something unexpected. What? In other words, One Two Switch isn't a game you play facing a screen. It is a game that is primarily played through face-to-face -face interaction. Well, yeah, but you still gotta have the the game there to know so what you can you're bring doing. To parties and after parties, indoors or outdoors. Reality compatible. <laughs> or me. You simply one stand Nintendo Switch up. Two, grab the two Joy-Con. Three, hand one to a friend. And just like that, with these three steps, the place you do have to look at the screen, though. I mean, come on. Everyone is ready for fun. We're creating one to switch to be a staple for parties and to become an icebreaker for all kinds of fun communication. One to switch features fun for everyone gameplay made possible by the Joy-Con, and it releases March, March 3rd, 3rd alongside Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to it. Thank you We've got a release title. Yeah. That was 1 2 Switch, the game everyone can play together. Next, let's look at a game with depth, challenge, and replayability that uses the Joy Con. A new gameplay experience is born. Let's switch to it. So it's a mixture of stage presentation and also uh, the normal direct kind of thing. This Hitman? No. I was going to say is it. Replayability for everyone. All right, what do we got? <clears throat> it's got to be their first party title, one of their gimmick games, of course. We got businessman versus schoolgirl something. The dancing game? No. The fighting game? Boxing game. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. This was going to be like the Wii Boxing, but just amped up. Of course, the trailers make it look crazy, but it really won't be quite like that, I'm guessing. Rated R? No. Does look like a uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots kind of game. Oh, we got some gameplay? I can't quite tell the clarity because we're watching it in a lower quality, but.
I mean, it looks like it could be kind of fun. It may get a little, a little old after a while, unless they add some good one-player stuff to it, but... So your motion controls will let you block, move, so it's like the Wii Boxing, just... I wonder if you can customize characters. She has like rapid fire. Each one has their own thing. That's kind of cool. Arms. Hey, how about that? Is it? I wonder if it's a Nintendo first party. Hello, everyone. I'm Kosuke Yabuki. I'm the producer of the Nintendo Switch game, Arms. Yeah, it looked like fun. Today. I'd like to introduce you all to ARMS. ARMS is a fighting sports game that uses extendable arms to battle. It's like boxing, where you hit your opponent with punches, but it's also like shooting, where you aim and fire at distant opponents. And each character looks like they had their own kind of ability and stuff, which is cool. Play ARMS, you hold one Joy-Con in each hand in a thumbs-up pose. The Joy-Con senses your motions. So when you punch... I was thinking plugged into the end of the Wiimote, you could play two-handed? When you twist your fist, your punch curves. With this, oh, wait, what? You can pursue a distant enemy. Oh, I see. You move your character by tilting the Joy-Con. Um, I'll get to what you said in a second, Ballista. And jumps. You can perform a variety of actions. Because arms uses physical controls. Okay. Anyone can pick it up and play. Right so the thing you plugged in the end of the Wii room. But we've made it play so that play more. Are you talking about the regular Wii? Oh, it's just the classic controller. Is that what you're talking about? Which they have a version of that coming for this as well. I'd like to show you a battle between two of our team members. Team members. Kind of hesitated. Springman, Ribbon Girl. Here are some of the characters who appear in the game. Springman and Ribbon Girl. It's a very fast and active fighting game. They're trading punches back and forth. You can guard in this game, but they're practically bad. Uh, because I can't. I can't stream in HD. I could watch it in HD, and it would be really choppy, but I still wouldn't be able to... Oh, that was cool. I wouldn't be able to stream in HD because of my internet upload speed. Can't handle the HD right now. Um... And, uh, yeah, the presentation, I could up the the quality of it, but it would become even more choppy because I'm streaming and this, so. And you can play split screen against a friend. Oh, so you can do one player. Okay, nice. So there's one player on it then. So that may be worth picking up. That's cool, too. Sweet. And of course, we're preparing Thank you, Hero. Battles as well. Ooh, online battles as well. Sweet. The extendable arm fight game, ARMS. One of these days, one of these days, we will get around to getting everything in HD and making things look good. One day. Arms marks the emergence of Nintendo's newest characters. As you can see, mastering the Joy-Con controls can bring a new feel to even head-to-head -head fighting games that demand a high level of strategy and tactics. Think I'll do a Switch giveaway? No. Next, let's switch to this. Oh, is this, um, yeah, 60 frames, I don't know if we'll ever get to 60 frames, but, so we got a new Splatoon, is it the Splatoon Switch version, is it a revamped version, what do we got? Yeah, see, even there it's starting to get really jumpy.
All right. Well. <clears throat> Stupid autocorrect. So I didn't play the first one enough to know what's really different at all, but it's definitely a new, a uh, new version. I mean, you've got different, uh, uh, different UIs and stuff. It definitely looks like a different weapon. Where's our Splatoon uh, master? Who is it that plays a bunch of Splatoon that comes to streams? You don't know that steel. No, oh, it's just straight up Splatoon 2. Oh, God. Good afternoon, everyone. Straight up Splatoon 2. Diligent researcher at the Squid Research Lab who has spent day and night researching the mysterious squid creatures that can take on human form. I've been researching a new variety of squid that was discovered recently, and today I'm here to announce the fruits of my labor. You actually did play the Splatoon Steel? It has been about Why does he have guns in his hand? years since I first discovered the squid, and it seems there have been many changes to the squid world in that time. Turf War is their four on four team based battles where oh, straight up two. All right, that's cool. The with ink and cover the most turf. This remains a popular sport, but it appears the battle stages have changed and the fashions and weapons used have don't play it anymore. Here you see the latest piece of technology. This weapon set is called the Splat Dooleys. Splat Dooleys, these dual wielded weapons let you shoot ink from each hand. They also have nozzles that can propel you at a high rate of speed to outmaneuver your opponents. It is a fearsome weapon in the hand. We may have to get into Splatoon. And I don't know, we'll see. Fear is the, the special weapon. Oh, I gotta get the system first. After spraying enough ground with ink, are all brand new. Surely, with the introduction of new weapons. All new special weapons. Oh, really? Battle stages. Wasn't your style? You see the emergence of new battle strategies. I expect our research will continue to keep us busy. <clears throat> Allow me to report briefly on controls. Of course, you can use the Joy-Con controllers, but you can also play using the Pro Controller. I'll probably end up getting the Pro Controller, most likely. Screen. That'll be the most comfortable. In handheld mode. And of course, in either mode, you can use gyro controls to aim your ink. So the Pro Controller has gyro controllers in it too? X button to view the map. Oh wow. And to do a super jump, you press the button assigned to a teammate to instantly jump there. Of course, you can battle against friends and people you don't know over the internet. Of course. And you can also bring your games and Nintendo Switch systems together to battle. I just want to know what their internet if you're going to be able to transfer over existing Nintendo Nintendo IDs so I can keep my name um, oh, or is there going to be a friend system or whatever is planned for long is planned this summer summer this year and again this time there will be stage and weapon updates after launch and there are also plans to hold ongoing in-game events cool all right i am very excited to once again enjoy those exciting times with everyone all around the world splatoon 2 2 there he goes yeah <laughs> even the uh as many elements that we have well must not have sucked that much because they're getting a second game of it the squid research lab will continue to share new details as we discover them Thank you for your time today. Ah, that was cute. Still some left on the screen over there. Oh. What squid do you think? This brand new version of Splatoon arrives this summer. It should make for some hot matches. Next, let's switch to this. All right, what do we got? Ninja Turtles? What?
What the heck? <laughs> Is this an open world Mario game? Or just that's just was one of the purple triangles. Why was he in like taxis and stuff? <laughs> that's crazy. But this looks awesome. Of course, you got to have your gummy level slash candy. I really wish I could see this in better quality. I'll rewatch it. But hey, he's standing on top of light posts and stuff. That's just a little weird. That kind of takes me out of Mario. So what do you think it's going to be? <laughs> Screw stars. We need triangles. Mario. Oh, we can throw his hat as a, like a boomerang. Did he jump off? Oh, I couldn't see that. Now it's all jumpy. Is he jumping off of his hat? It looks like he threw his hat and then jumped off of it. Rabbit kids. I mean, from what it looks like, it looks like it's not... It doesn't look like Mario's too polished, but... But, of course, I'm looking at it at lower quality. Title? Super Mario Odyssey. Wow. Yes. What? It's like Minish Cap. Hello, everyone. Mario Odyssey. I like the name. My appearance. I am Yoshiaki Koizumi, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey. While I am the overall producer for the Nintendo Switch hardware, I simultaneously have a hand in the newest Mario game, Super Mario I look cool. I didn't like the real world stuff. Kind of took you out of the... Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine that we have created a large Mario sandbox world like this for you to run Nice. The theme of Mario this time is a journey to an unknown world, and ah. Mario has jumped out of the Mushroom Kingdom to go on an extraordinary adventure. Okay, so unknown, but perhaps you notice some landscapes that look familiar from the makes real world. Makes sense, but still kind of weird for Mario to be in a and city. I don't know. At the end of the video, perhaps some of you have noticed some unusual eyes or something on Mario's cap. Oh, really? Right here. Oh, right there. so what is this now? This mysterious cap, in particular, offers action that can only be experienced so, on Nintendo Switch. Kind of like the uh, the water pack role in Mario's journey from Sunshine. I hope you'll look forward to it. In the 20 years since we made Super Mario 64, I have been on a long, long journey together with Mario, and we are working on this new journey called Nintendo Switch. With the excitement one feels when visiting unknown countries for the very first time. So what are we looking at this year? I'll be very happy next when you year. Can all join me in departing on this new Mario journey on Nintendo Switch. We plan to release Super Mario Odyssey in the holiday season later this year. All right, so we got about a year. Since the release is still a ways out, you won't be able to play the game today. Uh, so yeah. I hope to offer you a chance to try it out at another time. Oh, they're Please talking about the people longer. at the event. Okay. Thank I was going to say, what are you talking about? All right. New Mario announcement. What do we got time-wise here? Are they going to go for about an hour? Or? We've got about 20 minutes left if they do an hour. I'm going to Elysium for you. <laughs> Fans of this type of game will know what it is. I'm going to guess... Some sort of monster hunter thing? I'm not familiar with it, whatever it is. I love this world because you're in it. I still want to hear the hardware specs of the system. Maybe they'll say that at the end.
Xenon? Xenoblade? Oh, is that what you guys think? See, I'm not a big fan of of the series, so I wouldn't know just by looking at it, so you guys would know a little better than I. It would be cool if they would have like the crowd's reaction to it. I would have to say Xenoblade. Just by the look of it, how you said that. Oh, is that an actual, like, dragon? I think it's huge. It looks like it had a big mouth. Ah, it is Xenoblade. There you go. Xenoblade 2. Isn't there a bunch of other Xenoblades out? How is this 2? I thought there were a bunch of Xenoblade games. I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the series, so I don't know. Look pretty nice. Team Ninja. I should know what this is. Or is this still Xenoblade? Power Rangers. No. Is this still the same one? Oh, so I guess it still is. Oh, what Fire Emblem. What saw was Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Koei Tecmo's latest game, Fire Emblem Warriors. Ah, look at that. See, Heroes all over it. I'd like to introduce our third party. Partners. Fire Emblem's pretty big. Oh, here we go. The Nintendo Switch concept has resonated third party partners. Developers. And there are currently over 50 companies working on games. There we go. I like that. All those are all the ones we've seen before. There are already over 80 games in development. Wow. So Bethesda today, was on there. Let's introduce just a few of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Square Enix has already announced that they are preparing Dragon Quest X and of course. Dragon Quest XI for release on Just Nintendo Switch in Japan. Get 10 out first and then focus on 11, but there are 10 and 11. There is another Dragon Quest game making an appearance. Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2 for what? Nintendo Switch. You can play it on your system, though, because it's not region locked, so... Now, take a look at this. You can get it on your system at home. All right, what do we got? I want to see that third-party list again. Atlas. Are we going to see some more mature titles here, maybe? 20 fan. Oh, is this, um. What's the name of it? One of the more popular Atlas games. Unreal 4 Engine? Okay, so it's got some beef behind it. What's the name? What's the, one of Atlas's like really more popular games? You guys got a guitar back there. Dragon Quest Online. Oh, okay. And maybe this isn't what I was thinking of. As far as the Atlas goes. Shin Megami, that's what I was thinking of. That's a, that's an Atlas game. Why don't they give us the titles in English as well? I know this is Japanese base, but still. What does it mean to play your role? Tar Hero. World of adventure. The places you go. That's cool. Kind of like a. The deeds you oh, I really like the way that looks. It's a classic side-scrolling 
16-bit RPG, but it's got bumped up graphics and that's kind of cool looking. I like that. Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler. Yeah, I really like the way the, the art style in that. That looked pretty cool. What you just saw was the latest game in the Atlas series, Shin Megami Tensei, which celebrates it was the Shin Megami. anniversary this year. Development has only just begun. Oh, baby, don't wake but up. They were kind enough to prepare this video for us today. And the other title is a brand new RPG from Square Enix. Yeah, it did look pretty cool. It's world of course she's starting to wake up right now. Don't wake up. And sense of scale. Please look forward to additional information in the future. Now, let's hear from some of the developers working on new games for Nintendo Switch. I want to see some more third-party stuff. You guys said here are a few games. Oh, let's no, she's crying. Over to this individual. Hello, everyone. I am Toshiro Nagoshi. Hopefully she goes back to bed. I'm not missing this. Sega sees a tremendous oh, amount of appeal in Nintendo Switch, and we intend to be present on the platform. And similarly, I, as an individual creator, sense a new kind of appeal with this game hardware. We will, cons we will consider new games for Nintendo Switch. The translator is not... Soon. Oh man, she's not going back to bed. Is taking on new challenge and has a lot of appealing points and i would like to uh, take advantage of this new concept and create uh, an except an interesting game thank you very much for your time today thank you nagoshi san continuing on let's switch to this person hi i'm todd Gosh. howard here at the todd howard Studios. bethesda yep to announce that yes skyrim is coming to the nintendo switch of course, it was only in their freaking trailer. We love to make games and worlds that you can get lost in, that you can make your own, and that you never want to put. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This baby's not going to bed. Hold on a second. So let me know what I miss. Well, now you don't have to. Now you can play Skyrim wherever you want and take it on your own adventure. What's really exciting is for all of us at Bethesda to finally work with Nintendo. You look at all they've done for video games over the decades. They've brought so much innovation and fun to all of us. And they're doing it again. The Switch is both classically Nintendo, yet something all new. And we want to thank them for letting us be a part of it. Thank you, Todd-san. Next, let's switch to this person. Yeah. Okay. Hey. She. Oh, I didn't go very. Actually, well. Hi, went I'm back to bed right when I gave her a little nummy. <clears throat> so what they say about Skyrim? How come there's no translation? Today, I'd like to start. Um, I've I've been invited to come to this event, and I'd like to talk about. Uh, one of the games that I worked on. Wow, this translator, uh, narrator guy has no clue. The one guy from Santa Destroy who what he's talking about. Tag team between Marvelous and Grasshopper. Nothing really, they didn't give a date or anything. Touchdown. He'll be making his return on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, the guy translating it in English right now is not doing very well. So this star will be coming on to Nintendo Switch. Coming to Switch, okay. The title hasn't been decided yet, but uh, just about a year ago, I've been going to some events, some gaming events in Japan, such as Big Seven, and I've been discussing with, exchanging ideas with uh, the indie game community, and we've been discussing about uh, ideas for the new Nintendo Switch console, and I've heard that it's... Wow, he's really, yeah, messing up. I've heard that it's an easier platform to create games for, um, especially for indie uh, developers. 
And so that matches with what we are uh, expecting in a game right. developer. So indie office. titles, okay, kind of. I can't tell because I don't understand. I could probably understand the Japanese better than I could understand the English right now. So this one game that I'm working on right now uh, will be something that will take advantage of this uh, uh, environment that it's easy. There are a few different developers to English speakers that will so come on for different people, but this guy talking right now is not very good. That will have a fusion of deathmatches and strong styling sort of heavily involved, uh, heavily influenced by pro wrestling. And I'd love to see Travis running around um, in a game for a Nintendo Switch. Thank you very much for your time today. It was for <laughs> Suda51 signing. He has no infliction in his voice, and then at the end, he, you, oh my god, yes, thank you. Next, give give a, guess, a different guy. Switch to this guest. It's a huge honor and privilege to be here today. Oh, you know what that means. The, passionate and the guy standing in the back. You know me, to be on this stage is like a dream come true. that Miyamoto's coming out. Oh, no. I was going to say, because he is Miyamoto's like right-hand man most of the time. But EA, of course, we're going to have EA. For as long as I've played games... I've been a massive fan of the Nintendo platform. This is just the guy translating for the, the English spe speaker, so. So much so that when my firstborn son was born, my wife and I gave him the Firstborn son was born. Is that what that was, No More Heroes? I couldn't tell because the guy translating was horrible at talking. So today, we are extremely excited to announce that the world's most popular sports game will be coming to Nintendo Switch Madden. later this year. <clears throat> Madden, of course. Seeing as the Madden games in the past on the Nintendo ones were like dimmed down versions of them. EA Sports FIFA on Nintendo Switch will be oh, the FIFA. most immersive, social, Authentic sports That's true. That is the EA's biggest game, not Madden. FIFA. Because FIFA is worldwide. Or Luigi? What are you talking about? Luigi? They're talking about EA games. Not a big FIFA fan. I mean, I love soccer. I played soccer for years. I was really good at it. But I'm not a big FIFA fan, so... That'd be one sport that I'd actually want to go out and play rather than playing an electronic version of it. If you're at the park, at your friend's house, or on vacation, you can always stay connected to the biggest matches. And you'll be able to this is going to go over an hour? Unless they wrap it up here in the next 10 minutes, so... All with the unmatched authenticity and depth that FIFA is known for. Number Heroes was a fun game. It was one of the one of the uh, M-rated games for the Wii. One of the few, really. We'll have much more to say and show in the coming months as we bring the world. Is it going to be FIFA 17 or F FIFA 18? I wonder if it's going to be the past version. Because they already just released the newest one, didn't they? Domo arigato. It's really laggy. Maybe my internet. If you're talking about this being laggy, yeah, this is going to be laggy, Thank of course. Thank you very much to Patrick and all of our guests. We are very excited for Skyrim and FIFA, and are very excited to see what kind of new games Naguchi-san and Suda-san create. Like these titles. And with that, I'd like to bring my portion of the presentation to an end. Thank you. Your portion, but who else has a portion? Just a montage to end it? There's Sonic. I saw a Sonic in there. So you can jump on the hat. I wasn't seeing things. I don't know. I mean, 
I say the more games it's for more people. Minecraft, of course. That's Monster Hunter. Rayman's coming. There's a Lego game. Cow Simulator. Was that Luigi? Luigi's Mansion there for a moment? I couldn't tell. Oh, there's a Sonic. Some sort of dancing, of course. There was a me game. And there's that one, yeah. Like, you're gonna dress up like that. <clears throat> what? Street Fighter? Oh, they're just showing classic games you're gonna be able to play as well. Virtual console stuff. Minecraft. There's that prototype Mario Kart that they still haven't talked about. I thought they'd say something about that Mario Kart. It's not the end. Is that the end? What did you think? As you just saw, we were preparing to offer a rich assortment of games, both from Nintendo. Yeah, it's freezing up. Sorry, guys. Today, you heard from some of these developers, but there are still many others working hard inside Nintendo to develop original game content. In addition to the franchises our fans have loved, we will also introduce the world to new forms of entertainment made possible by the unique characteristics of the Nintendo Switch hardware. Okay. Joy-Con controllers. Are you gonna tell us about the hardware at all, or no? Since we revealed new colors of Joy-Con during this presentation, allow me to share with you our Nintendo Switch product configurations. Oh, here we go. Oh no, this is how they're gonna sell the system. The Nintendo Switch system will include the Nintendo Switch console, a left and a right Joy-Con, Joy-Con wrist straps. The Joy-Con grip, the Nintendo Switch dock, an HDMI cable. Give you an HDMI, and thank you. An AC adapter. Not a big brick, it looks like. The Pro controller will also be available separately. Yeah, I'll probably definitely get the Pro controller just because it's the most. There will be two versions. Ooh, two versions. One model with gray Joy-Con controllers, and another model with one neon blue. And one neon red joy. Oh, <laughs> no, I'll just go with the gray. Will be the same suggested retail price. We have shared a great deal of information with you through Dale. this presentation. Great deal. And more details will be available on our Nintendo Switch homepage after this presentation. I'll have to go check that out then. Seems like that's going to be it for it. But first, oh. I would like to ask Nintendo of Europe and Nintendo of America to share their messages with their fans watching around the globe. Their messages? Take it away. Thank you, Mr. Kimishima. I'm Satoshi Shibata of Nintendo of Europe. Good morning, everybody in Europe. I yeah, it's like 3 a.m. So early to watch. I'm so excited for you to finally know all about Nintendo Switch. Or 4 a.m. almost. Switch has a very unique appeal, as you saw today. And I look forward to you all getting to try it out soon. Right now, hands-on events are being prepared where we've invited European media to play Nintendo Switch for the first time. Media, of course. Within the next few hours, these events will kick off in Frankfurt, Paris, and London. I know that lots of you will be wondering when you can get your hands-on Nintendo Switch to try it out. In the coming months, we will hold more of these events to find out when and where you can have your own experience with Nintendo. Actually, looks dope. It does look good. I wanted to know a little bit more about it. Good to see that they have games in development. They've got third. Oh, ow! Take back your negativity. So I hope to see you so yeah, so it's good to know that third parties are on board. People are happy to. Oh yeah, there we go, Reggie. Um, people are wanting to develop for it. it. Makes it easy to develop it. 
Indies are going to be able to develop. Hey, Reg. Not really. New York's never quiet. You can't see it, but the atmosphere is crackling with posts and tweets and messages all about Nintendo Switch. We're here getting ready to show off Nintendo Switch to a small group tomorrow, but you may get your own chance to play. Plus, they're doing their whole treehouse thing tomorrow, which is going to show off some more games, too. On six separate Sundays in six different cities across North America. That's cool. You can find all the details on Nintendo.com slash Switch. But yeah, tomorrow morning, they're doing their whole treehouse thing where they have those people talking about games, so they're going to show some stuff off there, too. I'm going to try to watch that while I work. First, the wider look we've just seen at what this revolutionary form of gaming and new ways to play are all about. Second, those amazing controllers. Yeah, the controllers do pack more punch than I first thought. Invented and then adds to them. But of course, the biggest buzz is reserved for the games. And man, what games? No question, there's a lot in the works. Didn't mention Zelda at all. One thing is missing. But if you listen carefully, maybe you can hear it floating in the air. Yep, there it is. Breath of the Wild. For what's been far and away the most anticipated Nintendo Switch game right from the start. Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. It's funny that he gets to so, introduce. Well, it'll where be is here it? at a special event elsewhere in New York tomorrow. Oh, they're actually going to have a I see hands some on. sneaky Nintendo employees have been playing during this presentation. So let's go over there and see what these guys have to say for themselves. Let's see what they have to say. Ah, Mr. Miyamoto. Why is he in New York? Legend of Zelda game. How do you like it? What do I know? <laughs> of course. Well, so many eager fans want to know the one critical question. When is when it coming out? A Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Ask him. Oh, jeez, I knew him. You're the producer for the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. You know everything about the game. Certainly, you must know. When are we? They're just gonna keep doing this. I don't know the answer either. Please ask Kimi Chan-san in Tokyo. Yeah. I guess that settles it. There's nothing left for me to do but to throw it back to Tokyo. And Mr. Kimishima, do you have the answer to that question? <laughs> Why are they in the New York, or at least in the video? Reggie-san, Miyamoto-san, and Aonuma-san, thank you very much. You've left me with a very important task, but I'll have to come back to your question in a second. The Nintendo Switch launch is just around the corner. It is. It's like a month and a half away. Tomorrow and the next day, we'll hold a Nintendo Switch hands-on event at the big site in Tokyo. And we'll be taking pre-order reservations at retail in Japan <coughs> starting January 21st. I hope that we've shown enough to earn your support. You didn't show quite enough, but you've shown a good amount. We do what have I wanted. One last thing to share with you today. One last thing. Before we do, there's music. I would like to humbly and sincerely thank everyone here for listening and everyone around the world for tuning in. There's some music in the background there. One last thing. And they're going to kick it off with Zelda. There's going to be a new trailer. It's all choppy. Looks beautiful. What do we got? Big new trailer coming. Boom at the end. We'll see. Does look very pretty. I cannot wait. Surprise, it's Mario the whole time. <laughs> no, it's not. Nice music. That's the one thing that gets me more than anything is the music in games. Because I'm, I'm a musical person, so to have good music 
matching along definitely makes the game for me. That's it right there. It's Zelda. This is the history of the royal family of Hyrule. Is also the history of Calamity Gan history of Calamity Ganon, primal evil that has endured over the ages. Calamity Ganon. Is that the name of the Calamity Ganon? Uh oh. Oh snap. There goes the Hyrule Castle. Awesome. It has a little personal device there. Cities and stuff we haven't seen. But there's actual life in this world. The look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however... Oh, that looks very nice, too. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened a hundred years ago. So we'll know what happened in the past hundred years. There's Zelda. I'm guessing. Everything I've done up to now, it was all for nothing. Alex, looks we've got a band of characters with us. Here it comes, he says. Wow. You must save her, my daughter. Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Oh, they're just teasing us even more. Open your eyes. That's the beginning of... Oh! On release. Oh, man. Oh. Well, I mean, I'll get the Wii U version, but still. Oh, man. Did I lose everybody? Is everybody gone? It happened. They did it. They did it. Well, it's already past midnight. What are your guys' thoughts? If anybody's still hanging around, I know Steel's still here, but Hero and Timmy and everybody. That is crazy. I really didn't think that it would be launch. That is awesome. How cool is that? Let me go ahead and pause this thing. <clears throat> Just an all right now if my jaw dropped one open. <laughs> they did it. They did it on release day. Everybody kept saying summer. I thought it was going to be late. I just really hope it's ready. I hope they're really not pushing it out. Or they're really not pushing it forward just to get it out, but it better be ready. It looked good. That looked really good. I'm going to have to watch all of that again in HD so I can see everything, but that'll be it for tonight then. I'm going to wrap this up. We can talk more about it later, but it is past midnight. It is past my bedtime. I usually am not streaming this late. I'm usually trying to get to bed right away here, so... What would you guys think? I thought it was awesome. Of course, at the end, that made it all better. But but the whole thing was good. Uh, I didn't hear any specific specs for the system. Uh, that Zelda trailer. I didn't hear you know any specific specs or something like that. I mean, of course, we're going to hear more about it over the coming weeks or so. And then tomorrow, they're going to be showing more of the games and stuff because they're having their Treehouse event. I think it starts at like 9 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, where they have you know a couple, you know mid 20 year old sitting around talking about the games and doing their shtick and stuff so who was the girl i'm guessing that was zelda 
we shall see. We won't know. We'll know in about a month and a half. So we'll be playing that on the Wii U version, unfortunately, because I'm not going to be able to get the Switch, but we'll rebuy it for the Switch then. I don't think it'll really have much of a graphical difference, honestly, but... Anyways, there it is. It worked pretty well. I'm sorry if the uh, the choppiness was was there. Uh, voice acting? There, there's a little bit of voice acting, yeah. Everyone add me on Mitomo. Mitomo? People still use Mitomo? Oh, I don't even have my Mitomo. I used it for like two days and that was it. Treehouse of Horrors. Yeah, Treehouse of Horrors. No, just Treehouse. But yeah, that'll wrap it up for me then. Yeah, sorry guys that this here was a little choppy just because I'm streaming and watching the video. Uh, I can't have it too high resolution, but we heard what they were saying. We saw what they were showed off. Be very, very, uh, yeah, I can never add me. I barely played me Tomo. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's something I barely did. But I'm going to get out of here, try to get some sleep then. We will be back tomorrow night with the start of a fable anniversary so thank you guys for those of you that are here watching live on twitch or over on beam and if you happen to watch this part i'm going to try to go ahead and just upload this it'll just be one whole video to youtube why not i don't i don't care it'll get flagged i won't make you know any money off of it but it'll be there if people want to watch it i guess we'll see but i'm going to wrap it up guys thank you so much tomorrow night we start a fresh fable playthrough we're going to play the fable anniversary we're going to start fresh and um and yeah, so we'll be back tomorrow night. Same time as always. I will talk to you guys as soon. And if it's for 100 of you or one of you, I will still be playing games and streaming because it is what I like to do. And hopefully you guys enjoy it too. And I'm really glad that this fell on uh, night that we could watch it together. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. But yes, I will end this here, guys. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. And as always, keep on gaming.